Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In our last video, we saw uh, the list of uh, page builders as a comparison. We saw which page builder is a really good one to use. We saw a comparison of Elementor and DB Builder along with WP Bakery. So if you haven't watched that video, you can just uh, check out my other videos. I'll leave a link in the comment section below. You can check out that video as well. In today's video, we'll see how to use uh, Elementor in creating a, a fully functional website or how to use Elementor in creating a different elements of it. So without further delay, let's get started. So I'm just on my local host. I'm trying to uh, open up a WordPress admin panel. And in the admin panel, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to the plugins. I'm first going to install up a plugin or I'm going to activate the classic editor of this. So this classic editor is nothing but the default editor which is available in every installation of WordPress. That helps you the, um, that gives you the comfortability to edit up your uh, page as well as the sections of the site. So I'm activating these editors and after which I'm, I'm going to search for a plugin named Elementor. So this Elementor is a plugin which we saw last video as the powerful and the most versatile video or the plugin for WordPress. So this gives you an option to almost manage the site or to edit the site with all of the uh, features without writing a single line of code. So I'm clicking on activate and once they activate it, you get up to an onboarding screen. You can uh, just skip them and just get started with your uh, blank editor and I'm getting up this uh, main screen so click on exit and uh, go to the dashboard of your uh, page again and um, you'll be able to see that I'm ending up in a main screen now so this is the page so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, go to the features of this and there I'm going to first activate uh, the feature of uh, flexbox container so this Flexbox container is a very important thing which you need to activate because that gives you the comfortability to make up your uh, layout structures or your grids inside your uh, page section. So you can create multiple sections, a full width sections. So all of these are possible with the help of your Flexbox. So activate that and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my page, the test page which I'm going to work on now. So this page I'm going to make it as my uh, main page of the site. So for that what I do is I go to the, um, I'll delete all the unwanted plugins here. So that I don't uh, have any bloatwares in the site. So I'm creating a new page now named home. I'm just setting it as uh, the template option on the right side. I took it as uh, the full width uh, grid layout. So take that option as well and um, I'm going to the uh, new page. So if I happen to see this page, I'll be able to see that um, this is my main page now, the home page which I'm creating. I'm going to the settings. I'm setting the main page which I'm creating now in Elementor as the main static page of the site. So go to this and take the sample page which you have created now and press save. Once you reload this page, you'll be able to see the new layout is popping up with an empty screen. So this is the screen which I'm going to work on now where I'm going to create my header and all the other modules. So after which I go to this editor, click on edit with Elementor and this is the main screen which you end up with. So there you get to see a lot of structures available here. You can choose a full width structure or a two column or a three column depending on your choice. Now I'm taking a full width structure for the hero area for the slider image. So that section I'm clicking on that and um, I'm taking the option as a banner. So in the banner area you can choose up your options depending on your comfort, whichever layout you have in mind. So I'm taking as a block there I'm able to see up a lot of uh, hero area image. So I search as hero I get to see a lot of uh, image options available. So you can choose your uh, hero page. So this page you can also use in building up your landing pages or your coming soon uh, page. So it will ask you to connect to your library, the Elementor library. So create your own uh, free account. So once you create your free account, you'll be able to download all of these templates from their account. So now I'm just logging to my account. So once I have there, I'm just clicking on um, the screen. I'm taking the uh, media. So I'm just trying to upload some video file or some image from my uh, local computer. I'm trying to take some slider image. So this is the image which I've chosen now. I'm taking the option as uh, full width. You can download your stock images or your videos from different sites. I'm trying to look out for some nature videos to be used on the hero area. So normally uh, the hero areas look really impressive when you try to feature them with full width uh, videos. So here I'm taking some stock image for demo purpose, which I'm going to use in the uh, further part of the video of the site design. 
So upload this image as well. So I'm taking this image, I'm choosing the option as center line default and I'm setting the option as no repeat so that I don't get the image repeated. I'm setting the height of this image as well so that I get to see the image in uh, full width. So you can adjust your uh, variation of the height of this image depending upon your comfort. And you can add up a little padding as well to so remove those uh, border radius or your border corners. So you could see that the slider image has now popped up. And this image, uh, I'll be able to also um, align the vertical alignment, also the horizontal alignment, everything in par with your uh, sections. Now after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, A small uh, background overlay I'm trying to add because this image is like really bright. So to give that pleasing look and feel, what I'm go going to do is I'm creating an overlay. You try to adjust your slider depending on your intensity of the brightness you need. And I'm going to add up a CTA text to us. So this call to action text is a very important thing on your slider. So this is the hero banner which I'm trying to create. So you can feature up your service or your main USB, whatever you want to feature in this. So that I'm trying to create here. And uh, below that, I'm going to add up, uh, you can try adjusting with your font size and the styling of all of those. So all of the features are available in this. And below that, you also have an option to add up your block text as well. I'm going to add up the uh, services description, whatever I'm going to feature here. So you add up those contents as well. You can choose your font styling, the font weight, also the um, spacing between these uh, characters all of those you'll be able to adjust them and after you adjust that you need to create a CTA button as well now so drag and drop a button I'll be able to change the button colors the size of those buttons the stroke on the buttons all of these so I'll be able to click everything or uh, make everything with just choosing up different settings on this Okay, so there I have a nice uh, clean slider banner. So this banner is like really um, simple. I need to add up a simple subtle animation to it so that it looks really nice when you load the site or when the page loads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create up simple animations to this uh, text. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose my, um, before doing the animation, I'm going to adjust the size of this on different uh, gadgets. I'm going to adjust how this is going to look like on your iPad or in your uh, iPhone. So there you will be able to adjust the height of the image, change the font size and everything. So those are all possible in this. So when you make a site, it's really uh, important to build your site on uh, the responsiveness uh, factor because uh, these days all your sites are mobile responsive. So you need to give extra priority while creating those. So now I'm creating the um, layout as per your mobile device. You can see in this video now. So I'm adjusting the alignment of it. I'm making it as a center line option for the mobile so that uh, you get to scroll the uh, site contents easily. So having done that, what I'm doing is I'm going to create up a small animation to this. So that slight uh, text makes up a small effect. So take the advanced option, take the motion effects. There you'll be able to experiment a lot of uh, different styles available here. All these are pre-built styles. You did not write a single line of code. Just check the option and just experiment however you feel it. And um, you'll be able to see a sliding animation like this showing up on your screen. And uh, having done that, uh, our header area is now over. I'm going to create the next section of this uh, site. What I'm doing is I'm creating a new section. I'm going to add that as a, a services section. So um, I'm trying to create up a three column layout here as I'm going to uh, feature three of my services just next to each other. So that on the mobile view, they come one below the other. So uh, I'm just creating a title here as services. And um, I'll try to feature my, um, I'll try to separate that with the divider. And this divider, I'm going to change the color of that to be a simple stroke so that it looks uh, really nice. So below that, I'm going to add up a new um, divider. So this divider, I'm going to make it as uh, the width of that really small. And uh, I'm just changing the color of it. I can make it smaller and align them to center line so that it looks like uh, it's a ruler which is like separating the title so I'm just creating that I'm adjusting the position of that as well so having done that what I'm going to do is I'm going to list my services just one below the other so I'm just creating up a new image module and uh, adding a small heading to it and I'll be adding a small description text as well to that along with the CTA button taking to that service page 
So I'm just using that image, whatever I have now. So this is a section content which I've created. I'm choosing the option of uh, the image with how it's going to look like. And this same content I'll uh, replicate on all the other services for demo. So you can feature with your own contents and titles, whatever you have. And the same way you can experiment all your text stylings, your text colors and everything. So those are also possible in this. So you can adjust everything here. So I'm adjusting my line height, the alphabet spacing and everything. So I'm making it a center line. So it's again up to your own discretion. You can choose whichever way you want to align them, be it a left aligned or your center aligned. So once I'm done with one of these services section, the same section, what I'll do is I'll just copy them. I'll uh, copy it into the multiple columns as well. You can give a small stroke to it as well if you want it to be uh, appealing. So now I have the services section ready. And to replicate it, I just copy that. And the same content I'll just uh, duplicate into all the other slides as well. So I'm duplicating them so that I get to see the same contents now available uh, in this. So once I reload the page, you'll be able to see those contents uh, showing up now, popping up here on the screen. So I'll see how it looks on a mobile view as well. So in the tablet, I'm getting to see this uh, layout, how it's like showing up. So you can adjust the size of that, the font of that, the alignment of it, so that it's uh, pleasing to your eyes. Or if you wanted to show them one below the other, if you have like four services, you can show them on a two by two grid. So it's all up to your discretion, how you wanted them to be featured. So I'm in the tablet now, I'm adjusting as three uh, services just below or next to each other. So to adjust the, to the mobile layout, you could see that it's showing up one below the other. That's the responsive default grid, which is uh, given by Elementor. You'll be able to choose them uh, the way how you want, as we saw earlier. So the next section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up a contact section, basically a contact info, which I'm going to create here. So this section, what I'm going to feature is I'm going to add up um, a small contact information along with a location map or something. So that section is going to feature my uh, phone number, the email ID, whatever information I want to give it on the screen. So that information I'll be able to add up here. So I'm creating the same way I'm adding a section as contact us and uh, the same way how I did for the other page, I'm going to add a new screen as a roller. I'll make the uh, width of that again smaller here. I'm adding a section background behind that and that background I'm trying to make it with a contrast color so that it looks really nice. So I'm adding a padding to it so that you get to see the uh, space of that uh, increased or uh, higher. So in this, I'm going to make it as two column layout where on the left column, I'm going to put my contact info, the text information on the right side, I'll feature with the map. So I get to see a lot of icon library, which is available inside Elementor. So the same sections, uh, contents, I'm just going to um, use them. And I'll replace it with my contents. I'll be able to adjust the padding of these checks so that it looks uh, really uh, aligned and neat to the eyes. So fill in with your contents. Choose your icons for uh, different um, titles. You can change the color of the text as well for uh, easy readability. So having done with the uh, text titles, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to change the uh, location map as well. So uh, I'm just choosing up my um, right section. So there I'm just going to search as Google Maps and just give your uh, Google address. So once you give your location in this, it automatically loads up your Google Maps in this. And you can adjust the zooming of that and uh, try to see the alignment of the map as well, vertical alignments and all the uh, spacing of the widget and everything. So you can adjust the uh, layouts on your mobiles and other devices as well. So that's it. So now we could see that I am done with the uh, entire site and in just like few minutes, you will be able to see the entire site is complete now with the header, the services and the page. So a simple page can be like completed in like just 10 minutes of your time with the help of Elementor. So it's really as simple as that. So if you have any doubts or any um, queries on this, do leave your comments below and I'll be able to uh, 
reply to your queries and answer your questions. So uh, if you want to see more such videos, uh, do subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll catch you up in the next video. Thank you for watching.